Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to understand the demonstration of the Python based machine learning project, which is water demand prediction for a particular city uh, using the machine learning techniques. And this is the case study in the, one of the region in the China. Uh, as far as this paper is concerned, we are having the data set and uh, we are going to train the model and on that basis we are going to predict. Basically, the paper is suggesting all about uh, only about the demand prediction, but in our case we are going to forecast the demand as well. So the next year's requirement of that particular city will be predicted and also we are talking about water management. So if the water available in the dams or in the reservoirs is sufficient, then we will say that there is no need to take any precautionary measures. Otherwise, if the water is not sufficiently available, then we will say that some measures has to be taken. So for that purpose, we are actually doing the system. As far as the coding part is concerned, so most of the code is implemented in Python and in order to create GUI or the front end, for the project we are using html and css so all these html files are stored here even you can find the css and some background images in the static folder and these are some python codes plus some uh, data sets in the csv file we are having now once we are running the code we can open this by simply typing localhost colon 5000 in the browser and then this kind of interface will open here are some uh, introduction about the project some architecture diagram and all those things are there even there is one more static page called about the project and here again the importance of water planning and all those things something like that is there you may edit this information as well in the html files and uh, if you want to add something extra then also it is possible to add now the important thing is forecast water. Now this is all about forecasting the requirement of water for next year. For example, uh, last year the requirement of water was this much. Uh, in the current year the requirement is this much. So what will be the requirement of water in the next year? That's what we are going to predict. For this purpose, we are utilizing ARIMA model. So ARIMA model we are using here to uh, forecast the next year's requirement. Now for that purpose, we need to put the uh, water available in the reservoir, the number of dams in the city, and then we can predict. Then after doing the, so this is the average water requirement. So this is uh, based on the historic data. So historic water requirement based on that, this is the average water requirement. Last year, the requirement of water was this much. 613 uh, TMC and the predicted water requirement for the current year or this is actually for the next year so this is 665.99 TMC but the available water in the reservoir is this much only so there is problem because the requirement is more than the available water so this is uh, the uh, from the 1890 how the requirement of water is varying with respect to time that's what it is showing and then this is what the graph represents uh, water available in the dam is this much average water requirement is higher than this even last year's requirement is is, uh, is even higher than this and the current predicted requirement is this much which is clearly higher than this one available water so we'll give a remark the water available in the very is less than the predicted requirement kindly take precautionary measures on priority so that we can uh, uh, plan the water supply in the city so that we can control the excess demand of the water. Now next is uh, second part of this project is to predict the requirement for a particular city based on the uh, parameters like number of industries in the city, population of the city, livestock, garden area, number of gardens, irrigation in the city even the uh, average temperature of that city so based on those parameters we can predict here i am putting some random values for now and uh, based on that we will be able to predict the requirement of water so once you click on predict so this is the industrial requirement of water this is agriculture requirement this is the domestic requirement and this is the garden requirement so this is how we will be able to predict the requirement or the demand of the water for a particular city so two approaches we are following one is predicting the requirement other one is forecasting the requirement for the next year considering the historic data now for this purpose we are using the machine learning algorithms regression analysis and for the predicting the water for uh, next year we are using arima 
model okay that's all the uh, about the implementation of this project in case you need the code of this particular project then you can check out the description box under this video thank you